Hi, my name is David and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be carrying on the video of the installation and unboxing of the Yale Lock as this is going to make a series. It's also tying in with the Skybell HD as well for um, front of house security and interaction between guests and the house itself. The Yale Lock's working very well. It is temperamental with the install. You do need to be very careful with how you put the activator in, which is the actual twisting lock mechanism, and making sure that the cable is completely tucked inside to allow that to work properly. To make the Yale Lock work remotely, not just on Bluetooth from local proximity, but to make it work over Wi-Fi for anywhere in the house or from outside, you need to purchase the separate Z-Wave module which then uh, doesn't work with the rest of our smart hubs because we've already got the Lightwave Hue, we've got the Google Home Assistant, we've got the Nest, and um, it isn't directly compatible. So we have to either go for the Yale own brand hub or we can go for the SmartThings hub from Samsung. Normally, unfortunately, I don't like Samsung products anymore. I found them starting to become unreliable and overpriced but this one is the starter set which was a reasonable price it comes with quite a lot of extra features we won't go too in depth in those features we'll just briefly go over them as we're looking in the z-wave setup for it and then later on we're going to be looking at a new security smart light as well again with a video camera built into it uh, that'll be another video down the line but today it's going to be the z-wave the o lock and the smart hub set up. So let's push these out of the way as we don't need these at the moment. So let's have a look at the unboxing of the Smart Hub and Z-Wave module. First of all we'll look at the Z-Wave module so I'll just push that to one side. instructions, very small little plastic clip, literally just plugs in and that is it. So we'll just take the back cover of the Yale lock off, that will just push in to the housing and then put the batteries back in and turn it on. We also need to do the hub as well. We'll set the hub up first as we want something for the Z-Wave to connect to. It's a very nice presentation box they've provided. Smart Hub, LAN port, two USB ports, power supply and reset switch. You've got your tag for detection if someone has entered or left the area. Um, there's, you know, you put it on a child's backpack, so you know, when they get home from school or on your cat or dog, so if you've let them in and out. You can tell if they're coming and going. You might want to use it for deactivating motion sensor alarms perhaps. You have your window or door sensor so it's just a little magnet in there and there's also some geometry sensors as well in there um, so that when your window opens it can trigger the alarm or if you've left something open um, they're saying that you can put it on fridges and things so you can tell your fridge has been left open got your motion sensor so again you just put that up in a corner of a room on a windowsill and if anything moves then it can trigger an alarm. You have your smart power socket so that just plugs into the mains and then you plug what you want in there and then you can control something to turn on and off so it's not just for a light you can have it turn a television on a computer on or anything that 
connects to a normal 13 amp socket. You've now got some wall screws, nothing over there. And what do we have here? We have a set of instructions. A power supply. That will be for the smart hub. LAN cable to connect your smart hub to your router. Some batteries. And a series of quick start guides for all the different parts. All four batteries are to go into the bottom of your SmartThings hub. So make sure you get the directions right. They say you've put the batteries in after you've done the initial setup. So we'll do the setup now and then we'll put the batteries in. But to put the batteries in they also say you need to disconnect it. So a bit of repetition there but that's what they say so that's what we'll do. We're starting to run out of space now in our electric cupboard but uh, we'll see how far we can get. First thing with B to D is to untie the wire, plug it into the mains and then plug that into the box. So I'll do that next. So you've plugged it into the mains and connecting that. You've got our power light and now to connect it to the root. Get your ethernet cable. Just simply plug it into the back. Hear the click and take the other end Find an empty port. On the back of your router, which you just about have one left. I'll tidy up the cables later. We've got a blue light. So now we'll download the app and start the registration process for that. Now we've set up the hub, put the batteries in, connected to our router and power supply. We have to come and download the SmartThings Classic app. We'll install. Open. New to smart things. Agree. We already have a smart things account. Connect the hub now. Enter code. But you'll find it on the back of your instruction box. Click next. Click continue as we've already done that. And done. So now we have our hub set up. We can now install the Z-Wave and get that going. Before we can insert the Z-Wave dongle, we need to take the top part off and remove the batteries from the lock. So I'm going to unlock the door and have it open to make sure nothing goes wrong in that process as well. So we'll just unlock and open the door and now remove the batteries. So you can see we've now removed the batteries and popped the top cover off, line up the pins with the hole just in there 
and gently push it in till it clicks. And now I just need to reinsert the batteries. Come back to the app and we'll go to my home, add thing. I'll just press the button on the Hue Bridge. It's certainly going through quite a few things. It's found our stereo, the Hue Bridge, and two of the lights, but not all of them. So we'll save that for now. Yeah, so it's found all three lights. It's found the Hue Bridge and the account. We won't worry about automation because we don't want to do that yet. But what we need to do is just run through the lock reset process. So we just need to go back to the lock, open the top cover, press the reset button and go through the open and close process again. We now need to hit the reset button three times quickly. We need add new things. It's now found the device. Done. Save. Okay. Okay, so now we can replace the cover. Make sure the dot works. All good. Now it's been successfully synced with the SmartThings hub. We can come to automation, goodbye settings, lock these doors, select our lock, done and save. And let's run the goodbye mode. You can see the doors now just locked itself. And now we can also add I'm back settings. Unlock these doors, select the lock, done and save. I'm back. And it's unlocked. Of course, using the tag, um, that the smart things comes with that will detect when you come and go or you could use your wi-fi geotagging on your phone and so when you leave your door can lock your lights can turn off when you come home your door can unlock and then your lights can come on as well you just need to go through the automation process i'll let you know how that goes in a later video